Hello you magical people. Welcome back on Salt and Sugar Saga and today we are making a very quick chatpat recipe which is very delicious, very tasty and it is called as paneer lababdar. So, without wasting any further time, let's get started. So, here I have taken 2 cups of water in a pan and I'm going to add some ginger and roughly chopped onions and we have to bring it to a boil. So, we'll cover it and let's wait. So now the water is boiling so we'll add our whole spices which is I have taken a small stick of uh, cinnamon which is dalchini, star anise which is cool chakra and some bay leaves followed by some red tomatoes and some cashews. So now I'll cover it and again bring it to a boil. We have to boil or cook it until our tomatoes are soft and mushy. Now we'll transfer it into a bowl and let it bring to a room temperature. It's very important to bring our this paste to a room temperature otherwise while making a puree of this any accident may happen. So guys be careful while doing it. This recipe is really easy and you can make any time, especially when you're feeling lazy and some unannounced guest arrives to your place. Simply make it. It will save your time, energy, as well as it tastes delicious. So now we'll strain our um, gravy base and uh, see our lababdar gravy base is all ready to use. Now I'll take a pan and I'll add two teaspoon of oil or butter or ghee whatever you want to take you can take and we'll add our gravy base into it so we'll stir it and mix everything well the oil and the gravy and now we'll season it with some red chili powder some coriander powder and again we'll stir it and blend the seasoning with the gravy now it's time to add the milk. Uh, I have taken hot milk here because when we are adding there are less chances of a milk to spoil and add little milk at a time because if you'll add all the milk all together then will be, it will be like um, risky you may spoil your gravy and your milk so add little milk at a time and keep stirring. So here our gravy is now creamy keep stirring until the milk is well blended with the gravy and it will not take more than two minutes okay so it's done now you must have noticed that till now we haven't added salt so this is the perfect time to add salt so when milk and the gravy is well mixed we'll add our salt stir it all over again and we are almost done actually yeah so we'll cover it and cook it for another five to six minutes or until it bring, comes to a boil now it's time to add some paneer Okay, so now we'll add some kasuri methi. Kasuri methi gives a very good flavor in this recipe. And I have also added some shahi paneer masala. Uh, not too much, just a teaspoon will be enough. Um, it will enhance the flavor of the gravy. So our paneer lababdar is all ready. Guys, if you haven't yet, do subscribe my channel by clicking on the salt and sugar saga logo. You can see on your screen. And... Do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the videos. Guys, until next time, enjoy your paneer lababda. Take care. Bye-bye.